Good morning, friends. Here at the station house with Darren. I'm gonna do a little work today. <laughs> well, station house used to be a bank, and they have this vault here. They let me come in and check it out. It's pretty cool, huh? It's a fat door. <laughs> cool. Do you know the combo? <laughs> no, no, fortunately not. So I'm not gonna risk closing it. <laughs> <laughs> this would be how you would call them. Yeah. Well, I'm stuck inside, and yeah. that's how you do it, huh? Yep. Yeah. Well, I've got some things done now. Time to head off to the good stuff for today. It's going to be a fun day. As I mentioned before, I was helping with an art show here in St. Pete. Here at the studio at 620, one of my favorite places downtown. There's a photography show for a local photographer named Herb Snitzer. Some of you may know who he is or know his art. I'll show you some of his art. Right now I'm opening up the gallery today so people can come and check it out. There's a waiting list to get in, but uh, just me, it'd be a good day. Well, this is basically it. I hang out here and let people in. There's a few people in the back watching the interview with Bob Devin Jones and Herb Snitzer and uh, I'm just enjoying the art. It gives me a chance to absorb it all. I've been able to pick out a couple things that I didn't see in the uh, opening night, but this is a great show. You guys are in the St. Petersburg area. Uh, in the next three months, this will go on until uh, December. You should come by and check it out. There'll be three different segments of this. The next month will be uh, different artists and their photography and a piece that I have done will be in here as well. So. That should be exciting. And for now, let's check out some of this art. It's a little hard to see with the glare. I understand, but this is an interesting triptych here. There's three pieces in the series. This was in 1975, 1976, and 1963. All very similar. A lot of his art is from New York City. This is from 1958 in the West Side, like the real West Side story. Isn't that cool? I realize the glare makes it nearly impossible to see some of this art, uh, at least in the daytime. But it's it's a cool it's a cool show. Friends, I'm here just chilling out after the gallery show at the Book and Bottle, one of my favorite new places here in St. Pete. They're having a ribbon cutting ceremony today. I didn't even know it. The giant scissors right here. They overheard me talking, and I, I get to, they're gonna let me hold the giant scissors. Very special moment. Oh, yeah. Be careful. I am no so, running. I'll be so, I'm not running. <laughs> no, no running. Do they yeah. work really well? Yeah, but actually they're pretty sharp. How long have we sharpened these? Uh, we haven't sharpened them in a while, but oh, we got to be careful because Chris sometimes gets a little jumpy, oh, so you have to keep him a little bit dull. Yeah, I understand. Right? There's actually a guy in town. Only job is sharpen sharpen these scissors. So there's a guy in a place that all he does is sharpen these scissors. Well, he does other things. Right. <laughs> This is awesome. I, I act, I treat him like he's mine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what do you gotta do to be in charge of the golden scissors? Gotta be a Yes. Yep. Yeah. Gotta be me. It, it's, a hard, it's a hard job, so I'll tell you that. I don't need, I don't need my money. <laughs> Not a problem. The mayor's here. Yeah. So cool. Yes. Yeah. 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 Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you can hear me all right. I'm going to keep my mask on because we're indoors and we want to be safe with each other. But I'm Chris Steinacher. I'm president and CEO of the St. Petersburg Area Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for coming out and celebrating what the mayor and I get to do in St. Pete a lot, almost every day. St. Pete is the best place to have your own business. 
the best place to live with your family. And the way we know how to do that is inspire everybody to believe they can do that themselves. If everybody felt like they could follow their own dream and create their own job, St. Pete wins because we have the coolest things ever and we don't have to take care of anything, right? So that's what we're trying to do because you guys as entrepreneurs take care of us. Just look at this environment, helping our soul, helping us feel better with great coffee and great wine, creating community. That's what entrepreneurs do. We have a great leader who cares about businesses and the backbone of our community. So let me introduce to you my mayor, your mayor, Mayor Rick Thank you, Chris. So good afternoon, everyone, uh, especially you, Sarah. So, you know, I get asked all the time, uh, what's your favorite thing to do as mayor? And, it, and the answer is, is pretty easy. And because I'm standing here right now doing what is one of my absolute favorite things that I get to do as mayor, and that is a celebration. And it's to celebrate somebody who had a dream, uh, who took it on, wasn't afraid of it, and made it come to reality. Uh, and it's something that you wish for everybody, but not everybody has the courage to do it. Uh, we want to encourage you to do it. Follow Tara's lead. She did it, and she's living it now. Uh, and living it in some of the toughest times uh, that we've ever seen in our lifetime. Um, but it hasn't stopped her, and how cool is that? So this is a place that you can come and really expand your mind and grow as a person. Uh, but it's also a place where you can grow your palate and, and learn about uh, wines and, and taste the difference in wines, but also in coffee, uh, which are also passions of mine. So this is a place that uh, is very special for a lot of reasons. Uh, but you know, th this, is th this is what St. Pete's about. Uh, this is the kind of place that fits with our vibe. It's who we are as a city. It's, it's residents and people who have lived here their whole life that say, I want to be here when you could have gone anywhere. I want to say thank you for your commitment to us, for your courage and your faith in us as a city, uh, and for living here. Congratulations. Right. Right. Awesome. Let me introduce Tara, for, for those of you who haven't met, let, let's hear her story and uh, let's celebrate um, the victories that she has and the ones that she's about to get. Tara, tell you. My name is Tara Dunham. I was born and raised in St. Pete, born at All Children's Hospital right down the street. Um, I did realize that I needed to come back to St. Pete when I wanted to start a business because it takes a village and this is where my village was. So um, I couldn't do it without my friends and family who have helped literally every step of the way. We were joking one day about like, oh, let's create our perfect business so that I can move back to St. Pete. And we were like, oh, it'll be a bookstore. Oh, there'll be wine there too with flowers. And you know, we went on and on. And I woke up the next day and I was like, we could do that. <laughs> awesome, right? Congratulations. All right, so that's, what, that's why we do this. That's why you're here. Um, it's raining, so we're gonna drink some wine, we're gonna drink some coffee, we're gonna read some books, we're gonna celebrate this. Three. One, two, three. For more information on the book and bottle, hit the link in the description. Thanks for watching today, friends. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.